All right, so we're going to put our Pro 4 HD motor into our Techno Short Course. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put the motor mount. Now the motor mount on the Techno, you will notice, has this little cutout here. That goes toward the outside, and this is so that you can use your driver to tighten or loosen the set screw in your gear. So that means this is going to go to the left. So here, when I'm putting these on, now I already have some thread lock compound on these. It should seat something like that. And then you just take your driver, let's see, is this a two? This might be a two and a half, oh, two and a half. Take your two and a half millimeter driver. Just gonna drive this in. And you can tell my wife I'm wearing my ring today. I'm not working with oil. All right, make sure they're snug. Do not over tighten. You do not want to ruin the threads either on the motor, especially not on the motor or the screw. But there we go. So this is set. Now, uh, for the set screw on the motor, there's already some thread lock compound here. One of the things that I like to do is I like to push the set screw just a little forward. You can actually see how the set screw actually comes out a little. I'm actually going to push out a little. And that's just so it does not spin freely on the motor. And then I'm just going to line it up with the flat part of the motor shaft right here so if you notice the motor it's not perfectly round there's a little flat area and the reason why i do that is notice how i'm turning the shaft with the gear now uh, and i'm just gonna leave it like this i'm not gonna tighten it fully uh yeah, I'm, actually, I'm gonna tighten it just a little more actually 2.5 no this is a two millimeter The reason why is I still want to be able to slide it in and out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take, oh, there goes the pinion. All right, so we'll just slide the pinion back in. And we're just going to take the motor and the motor mount, and we're going to go ahead and slide this in. And that's it. So we're just checking for fitment here. We're not actually installing it. So now that we know that's about where it goes, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the pinion now. And I'll take my two millimeter driver and I'm just lining up the pinion. Now I'm actually going to remove the motor shortly. All right, good. So I'm going to remove the motor. Tighten it, and then I'm going to present this one more time, and it's lined up perfect. Now I'm going to remove it. Uh, the reason why I'm not installing it yet is I need to install this little part there, but I cannot do that without placing the ESC. So the ESC, I'm going to mount right here. I can mount it this way, I can mount it this way, which way? Since I've got solder, uh, I'll mount it, I could mount it this way. Half the shorter wires, then everything else would be on that side. All right, what would be the best choice? Uh, this is plenty long, I'm gonna mount it this way. And just run this underneath. The main thing I want to see right now is how long do I need the wires. And not very long. I 
make sure you want the wires. Yeah, that's all I need for wires. I need the wires to be long enough so I can remove this. And that will be long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them right here. And I did not stick this completely in. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna cut the wires and then uh, I'll be Try to cut them all the same length. And now I have to tin them, so I'll be right back. Uh, you're going to be using the sensor wire. Now, for now, I'm going to be using this one. Later, I'm going to replace this with a shorter one because this one's too long. But you want to connect the sensor wire to the motor. And one of the things to note is there's some tabs there. Uh, those, make sure you line them up correctly with the connector in there. The other thing that you will notice is that uh, the connectors are closer to one side than the other. So this one will go this way. You shouldn't have to force it. If you're forcing it, you run the risk of bending pins. So if it's not connecting, there's probably a reason. It might be backwards. All right, there we go. So this, do that. This will seat. This way. Seat this first. And then I'm going to remove the plate so I can run the wires underneath. Fixed well. Good. And then I just have to slide the motor. And that is that. So now I just need the bullet connectors and I'll be able to connect this. So I left these the same length. I want these to be the same length. Uh, so at this point, the only thing I have to do really is uh, everything sits properly. Uh, I, well, I could run the wires through here. And that could work. And then I have to remove the plate. I have to decide where the switch is going to go. Now the switch, you can just double, use double stick tape and tape it somewhere. Uh, I'll probably end up taping it here. Or you can trim out a little piece and then just fit the switch in there and use a little screw. Right? If you trim a piece, for example, here and then just use two little screws. But double stick tape's a lot easier. Uh, let's see. Let me just connect this first. So your ESC is going to go to number two in your receiver box. So number two and there we go. And I like to leave a little bit of slack in there, but I think I'm going to have to leave a lot more just because of this. All right, uh, I'm going to take that plate off. All right, so the plate's coming off. Uh, it's, oh, I got the screws there. All right, there we go. That's for the motor. Uh, so for the plate, let's see if I remember correctly. It's this one here. This is the far one. And then it'll be this one. So it's just three screws. And this one here. And I'm using my left hand to hold the truck as well as the ESC. And plate comes off. Now you'll notice these little grooves. That's where I'm going to be running the wire through. Uh, so I'll run it through there. I'll come up through here. And I can actually make it go through here. It won't matter, really. And 
I want to make sure I seat this, but I don't want to crush the wire, break the insulation. So I have to be careful when I'm placing it. So I want to make sure this here is as flat as possible. And that's why I'm leaving a little more wire over here. Right, so that's the part I want as flat as possible. And then on this other side as well. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to seat it. Uh, make sure that the little O-rings, I, I mean, I was looking at them, they looked good. So now I can just flip this and then uh, line up the holes. There we go. Holes are lined up and then you can just drop the screws in and tighten. So I'm actually going to start with this one. I'm not going to tighten it all the way just partially and I'm going to drop that one, grab this one now I'm going to grab it and I'm constantly applying pressure because I don't want that wire to move now I'm going to tighten this one all the way and this one all the way, do not over tighten And that looks good. So now I can remove the motor, place it here, and I'm going to take the parts out. I actually had them in a little baggie so I wouldn't lose them. And this is what holds those wires down. That's it. So now, this will go here. So now you need this little part. Now, notice the orientation. This side is rounded, that goes in, this is squared off, this goes toward the outside. the wire, I'm going to cover it up, and there's just two screws, one here, one there. Oh, actually, there should be three, but I only have two, so there must have only been two. All right, now that the wire is all set, now I can install the motor. And I'm just going to slide this in. Two point five. Not going to tighten. I'm just going to get it close. And this is the bottom one. Um, turn it around. And you can stick a little piece of paper there to do the mesh. I'm just going to do it on an eyeball. It. Sounds 
good. Make a little. Check again. Good. Looks good to me. Now let's tighten the bottom. Looks good, feels good, it's good. So that is it. So now we have our Pro 4 HD. Uh, let me replace this one with that shorter one. And all I have to do now is just find a place to stick the switch. More than likely, it'll be here. Uh, and that's it. And all you need for that is just some good old double stick tape. I have this here, a roll of 3M. A little bit of alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And that's almost dry, and this is almost dry. All the tape. We are good to go. Now, a little note on the switch. Uh, notice how I'm installing it kind of high. That's I don't want it too low because I don't want anything to hit. And I did choose installing it here near the Nerf bar. My old one used to be back here, but the cable was longer. Uh, with this one, the Nerf bar should be able to protect it. It'll be fine. So I'll be taking this piece of tape off. But other than that, installation is complete. Thank you so much for watching.